looking at the game today, Tuesday, and we'll be looking to get the three points there. So definitely enjoy tonight. Very happy, but we'll be back to work again tomorrow. And the momentum is really important. The potential of those playoffs could be you know, quite close to one another. So you want to get another res good result on Tuesday and maybe match the second half performance maybe that we saw this evening. Exactly, yeah. We need to keep the momentum going and we know we can improve on a lot of things. So in the next few days, we'll work on that and go into Tuesday and um, hopefully be better at those things and um, bring our second half performance into Tuesday. It was, it was a lot better. I think we were a lot more composed. We were a lot more organised as a team. So yeah, Tuesday is even more important than tonight in my eyes. And it was a brave goal that Lily I scored. She she got up with the goalkeeper coming out at her, but a, a brilliant header. Absolutely, and apart from the goal, I thought she was fantastic when she came onto the pitch. And um, she really drove the team. I think she broke up the play. She was really composed on the ball, um, and then that header was was unbelievable. So um, every single player on this team, it just shows how much you're valued. And her coming onto the pitch, scoring that goal, I'm I'm very proud of her, and it's a, it's a big moment for her. Denise, she made a difference in the five minutes she was on before the break. Yeah, yeah, um, she did. She was, she was class. As I said, uh, she came on. She was very confident. She, she done what the team needed her to do, and that was to be a team player. She done exactly that. So, um, delighted for her tonight. It's a huge night, and hopefully, she can bring that into Tuesday as well. You did to them in the early minutes of the second half what they had done to you in the early minutes of the first half. <laughs> what you put that down to? Yeah, um, I, don't know, I think there was a, definitely a bit of nerves there in the first half as well. Huge game. Um, they came out and played the diamond in midfield and I think we kind of just got stuck on what to do. Um, so I think going in to half time Vera just said, look, settle down, get composed on the ball and you know, just get our shape again. So I think we done that in the second half and yeah, we were, I think we were a lot more organised, a lot more compact and, and we caught them on the break as well a few times. So um, most important thing is we, we got the three points and we're in the playoffs, so very happy. And then he's that moment on full time. What did that feel like? Do you have much memory of it? Is it just going to come by in a flash? Or? Yeah, honestly, I was absolutely wrecked, so I just dropped to the floor. Um, <laughs> and uh, there was definitely a few tears. It was it was very emotional. Um, you could hear the fans. The stadium was absolutely rocking tonight, and they've been with us every step of the way. Um, my family was there too, so um, it was absolutely huge. They know what this means to me. Um, so yeah, I was emotional, but... We're all very happy, we're delighted to make it fail. Yeah, and in terms of where it was at the end of the last campaign, the fact that you're here now at this moment after immediately after the game, I know you want to go to the playoff and win the playoff and get to the World Cup, but it must be a sweet moment for the squad as well in terms of where you were at now. Yeah, com compared to that moment, I was dropped on the floor crying last time at the end of the Germany game. Um, so to be here now, I think we're after going a lot as a team. Um, of course, we didn't play well in the first half, but a few years ago we may have let that slip and we had lost the game. But that just shows how much we have grown as a team and to get to get that goal and then stay compact and go to the corners, keep the ball there. Uh, I think it's it's huge, and um, I'm really proud of the team. Denise, just on the Germany game you mentioned there, I remember you being out on the pitch for ages on your own afterwards. Like just how contrasting was that to now? Yeah, it's mad looking at it. Um, Obviously, that was a huge blow. That was probably the most heartbreaking time in my career, for sure. And not making that Euros. And um, yeah, just myself and Katie tonight, just sitting there so happy. Um, the team has come a long way back from 2017 in Liberty Hall. All those girls, Emma Byrne, uh, Yvonne Tracy, Anya Gormans, um, they all came before us. They worked really hard. And, and this is the moment we've done that for them tonight. So um, it's absolutely huge, and we're, we're delighted. Like, you mean, sorry. I was just going to say this is for everyone like this is a monumental result obviously the job's not done just mm -hmm. yet but just how special is this piece of history for, for everyone like you say those girls that have gone before too exactly yeah it's a historical moment for all those girls and there's also girls that have been in the squad years the Savannah McCarthy's who have injured um, I'm sure they were quite emotional watching the game and wishing they were a part of the team tonight but they are a part of the team they've been part of the journey so um, that was for them and all those young girls who are at the, the stadium tonight who look up to us and um, yeah, it was just fantastic to do it, and um, Ireland showed up for us tonight for sure. They were amazing. You mentioned the crowd. How important would a home draw be in the playoffs? <laughs> that would be unbelievable. Um, couldn't even describe that, but they came out tonight. I think there will be a lot more um, at that in that time if, if we got a home playoff. But the energy tonight in the stadium kept us going in, in the last minutes of the game when we were absolutely wrecked. Um, yeah, the atmosphere was unbelievable and. We're after doing a big thing for Ireland tonight. We're after bringing happiness, I think, to the country. So um, if we can just keep going and, yeah, as I said, we're not done yet. We've to, we still have a job to do on Tuesday. And any preference who you get in the playoffs? Honestly, I haven't even thought about it, but 
I'm just happy. I'm happy we're there right now, and I couldn't even explain to you the, pro- the process of the playoffs. It's too confusing. So neither could we. <laughs> exactly, but, but we're there now, so very happy. And that's just on, in terms of you talk about family. Am I correct in saying you've seen one of your family members wearing one of your Ireland jerseys from 20 to 2010? World Cup Probably. I didn't even notice, but yeah, they were all wearing Ireland jerseys. I think they all went to my aunt's house today to grab all the Ireland jerseys <laughs> and I left behind. But yeah, family is everything. Um, they show up for me in every single game that I play here. Um, I obviously live in America, they're on the phone every single day. Uh, they've done a lot for me and um, yeah, they're my biggest support system. So to have them there tonight was, was amazing. And they've talked a little bit about the, like, the last time Ireland would have been in a major, cha- a major championship would have been the underage team, so we haven't done it at senior level. 2009, we got to the playoff. Mm-hmm. But in terms of this group, how much more do you think is there within the team? I think there's a lot more. I think this is a very special group. Um, we have huge talent within the team. And um, some experience, mix of youth. Um, and the Jets series, the head of things, who are all coming through, who are unbelievable talents. And um, yeah, I think I think we definitely have a special group, and I think we've a lot to improve on. Though I don't think we're even near. Our, our pinnacle yet yeah, as a team, um, but we're going to get there, and, and yeah, I'm just really happy. You talked a little bit about.